Okay, hello to all of you. In this video, I am going to show you how you can connect your Arduino board, uh, you know, to a PC or laptop uh, where you are running Colsys Development System V3. So in my previous video, I showed you how to connect your Arduino, you know, to any device uh, running a Modbus Master and uh, I assume that you have now that you have watched my uh, previous video and now you know how to um, download the program to the Arduino board. And uh, so if you have not watched my previous video, you can watch it and then uh, come to this. And uh, I want to show you how you can, in fact, through this Modbus communication, uh, interact with your PC or laptop running CodeSys soft PLC, running this CodeSys development system D3. In fact, okay, what you need in terms of software is your Arduino IDE, your CodeSys development system V3. That uh, this is you can download for free in CodeSys webpage. And I am using Windows 10 in this, uh, in this case. So in terms of hardware, you will, of course, use your Arduino Uno board, then a USB cable, USB A to USB B cable. This is the normal cable that you use uh, to uh, program your Arduino board and the, your PC or laptop, of course. So once you are, I will assume here also that you are familiar with CodeSys. If you are not, you can, in, in, on YouTube, you can find many uh, videos that uh, um, are very useful to get familiar with CodeSys. Uh, and uh, in this case, I am using, so I will upload this program, this project, test Modbus 3. I will upload this to my GitHub account so you can use it and run yourself to do this, the same test. Okay, and uh, so basically I am using this device, CodeSys Control Win V3 64 bits. So before starting and running this, you have to be sure that this device is running on your on your laptop or, or PC, you will find usually here, for example, in this icon, then you have to start, okay? You start the, this PC and then in, it turns in red. So it means that it is running here, okay? Then, once you are here, I, I will show you uh, so the what is this uh, project. In fact, you have a main program. So in this main program, it's very simple. The only thing is I am reading from this um, input variables to this register R0, R1, and R2. And then I am using uh, these functions bool to word or word to bool uh, to, to convert the um, just the uh, bits, uh, the boolean variables to uh, word variables, in fact. And uh, so you can see these functions here. So this is written in structured structure text also. And uh, so in fact, CodeSys is able, you, using CodeSys, you can use any programming language that is uh, complying with um, IEC 61131. So it's a very powerful environment to uh, for 
control program, program and control um, programs. Okay, so the tricky part here is that uh, most important that you, I have include this mod bus communication, and I can show you here how. In, in this case, I am using COM port three, uh, the boat rate, the parity. Okay, so this I have shown you also in my previous video. Then the master uh, setup and you have to select here RTU okay and the slave in this case the slave is our Arduino board I am using the address number one and important information here is uh, that we are reading this channel channel 0 channel 1 channel 3 Okay, and you can see so that here we are using, for example, function code C3, function code 3, function code 6, function code 3. And also important, the offset. Okay, so here, for example, we have uh, this is address 0, address 1, and address 11 in the uh, Arduino board. Uh, also interesting is this part because here you can see the mapping from channel to internal soft PLC addresses huh? IW0, IW1, QW0 and IW2 okay so basically what you have to do is build this project It's done, zero errors. Then you have to go to device and scan the NAND. In this case, I am using a local PLC. And so here you can see that I have green communication here, the gateway, and our device is, of course, in this case, I, I am using a soft PLC. so. It's very easy to get communication. And then you go login. Select login with download. Now it's downloading the program. And that's it. So next step, you run, and it's connected. And here also, this part is important. Please check that your Modbus con are, all these elements are in green. Also, it means that they are connected. They are reading from the Arduino board. So if you see here in the main program you see that we are having some data that is increasing in r0 and uh, we have this program part here that i will show you it's better to see this in the visualization part okay. so here you can see that we have this control part of the LED, the built-in LED, which is on the Arduino board. And I'm going to turn on. And I can see in my Arduino board that the built-in is now on. And you can watch that. You can see also that this uh, LED that I am reading, in fact, from the Arduino board, and I am not connecting this lamp to this bit directly in the soft PLC. In fact, I am reading the status of the bit in the Arduino board. So I am checking that, in fact, the uh, Modbus uh, communication is working properly here. You can see that there's a little delay. Sometimes it takes uh, like one second. 
because you have to take into account the um, the time for communication there. So the other part is that you see here how this is slowly is increasing. This is just a counter that is in, always increasing. And uh, just to check that, in fact, it is working properly from the Arduino board. So that's it. It's very simple, but you can see that, in fact, you can run very complex control programs from your soft PLC using the CodeSys environment, and then transfer this data to your Arduino board. Okay, see you in next video.